all the Star Wars lingo you need to know to visit Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland or Disney World. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining. This is part of my series on Disneyland. If you want to see more Disneyland videos, you'll find the links in the description or at the end of this video. But in this video, I'm going to be telling you all about the special language in this land. Why is this important? Well, because when Disney made this land, they basically wanted it to be as immersive as possible. And so in being immersive, they've actually kind of come up with a language that is spoken in this land, or at least a set of phrases that people use. By the way, the planet that we're on here, it's called Batu. The people who live in Batu are Batuese. The language is Orabesh. And so when you walk around this land, you will see very little English. In fact, most of the writing is in Orabesh, and you have to use the Disneyland app uh, to actually decode the writing to turn into English for something you understand. So this is going to be your little primer on all the phrases that you'll hear the cast members say to you and what they mean. And if you want to seem like a Batu local instead of a tourist, well, learn a few of these phrases and say them back. The first phrase you should learn for visiting any country or planet is good morning. And on Batu, good morning is bright suns. Good evening is rising moons. If you are in the land, Galaxy's Edge, you are on planet. If you need to find a bathroom, you'll be looking for a refresher. And if you're looking for a drinking fountain, that's a hydrator. If you're greeted by someone in the land that's part of the resistance, they may say, ignite the spark. And you can respond to them, light the fire. I mentioned my other video about Disneyland language in the whole park. You'll never hear a cast member say, I don't know. But they actually have a little code to say something like that here, which is, only the ancients know. There's a couple ways to wish goodbye in Batu. One is till the spires, and another one is good journey. But if you want the most formal goodbye, then you should wish them, may the spires keep you. There are no cell phones on Batu. Instead, they are data pads. They don't talk about currency in dollars. They talk about currency in credits. Children's and Black Spire's outposts are referred to as younglings, or if the force is particularly strong in them, they may be referred to as Padawans. On Earth, what we would call a stroller, on Batu, they refer to as youngling transport. Okay, fellow explorers, those are the words I've learned on my visits to Batu, but I'm sure I've missed some. If you're a Batu regular, let me know. What have you heard the cast members say here that I missed? Let me know in the comments below. But for those of you that this is your first journey to Batu, now you'll be armed and be speaking just like the Batuese. Well, as usual, I won't say goodbye because I've got a couple more videos on Disneyland you can watch here and here. You can also find links in the description below to my entire Disneyland series. And I never say goodbye, but this time I'm going to say, may the spires keep you.